Okay, okay, how you doing, beautiful people? I hope y'all smelling good out there. I hope y'all vibes good. You know what I'm saying? So today I got something real special for y'all. You heard me? I have... You finished? I have an unboxing for y'all today by the House of Paris Corner. And this one is going to be called Killer Ood Midnight Ecstasy. I see a few reviews online about this joint, but not too many. But let me share the reason why I did buy that one. Because I already own these two. And they are so good. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try all of them. So, as of now, I only have two. Well, now I own three. And I'm about to open this with y'all. It's going to be fresh. Fresh to my nose. So... Ain't nothing like a good old unboxing, man. I'm not gonna uh, go with the wild, crazy box details and all of that because honestly, I just want to know whether it smells good or not. So, we're gonna, I am gonna show y'all the box though, but gonna open this up together, man. We together with this. We do, oh wow, look at this. It's, it's, it's all falling out the. Oh my goodness. Okay, so as you can see, top fell off, but it's not really a big deal. The juice ain't spill or nothing, man. It's a dope bottle though, huh? Must say I do like all of their bottles. I do like all of their bottles. And what I learned, I'm not learned, but a little trick I do, I made this thing, um, I made a use for it. What I do is spray my cologne on there. Just to, whenever I want to smell it, I don't have to keep opening the bottle and smell it. I just, you know, smell that. But anyway, yep, that's the bottle. Now let's get diggity down to the smiggity smell. Midnight ecstasy. I can't wait to, I can't wait to smell this. I don't smell nothing out of the top, but it's a little weird. It sprayed on the first time, but... Okay, let's give it one more spray. Two more. Okay. Hmm. It's strong as hell. I get some oud in there, like a light, light oud. I mean, you know, not an astringent, earthy, dirty oud. It's... it's Honestly, all I'm getting is ooh right now. Let me spray this on my skin. Let's go with the skin spray. Mm, it's a lot better on my skin, like like usual though. You know, you spray it on your skin and it's... Me and my partner just had a conversation about that last night, smelling on the paper and smelling it um, versus on your skin. But honestly, man, Cause I'ma always be honest with y'all. I really don't smell anything. But ooh, sorry for that delay. I really don't smell anything, but okay, okay. Hold on, I'm sorry about that. Got the ooh. Smooth. It's smooth, creamy. But honestly, it's real weak. Ah, it's real weak on my skin. Like ah, the couple reviews I heard, this thing was like a monster. Yeah. So, um, I I really can't say much about this fragrance right now because it's not. It's not really doing nothing for me. It's kind of like the Latafa Nebris. You know, it was so hyped up, and I sprayed it, and I, I hardly even smelled anything. But you know what? Um, I'm going to come back tomorrow and review this again, give y'all an update, because I want to spend some more time with it. Maybe um, I got nose fatigue right now, but honestly, I don't smell hardly anything but a light, light, light oud smell. I'm 
kind of disappointed, man. But, but, I will get back with y'all. I will make another video tomorrow about this. Um, I need to get a full wearing, but first impressions, which is what this video is, I'm disappointed with my first impressions, but we'll see tomorrow if um, my opinions change. So y'all make sure y'all tune in, like, comment, subscribe. I'm always keeping honest with y'all and I'll be back tomorrow with an update on this fragrance. Until then, I can't say get that because I'm not sure about this one yet, but Y'all stay tuned tomorrow, man. I will update y'all on this fragrance. Y'all have a nice day. Make sure you're smelling good. Make sure you're looking good, man. And I'm out.